This is a race that I have wanted to run for quite a few years now. It's an out and back course along the North Downs Way in Surrey. This would be my first ultra marathon of 2024 and my first ultra since running the South Downs Way 100. I managed to pick up a small training injury over Christmas, so this was my first true test of my endurance since recovering from that injury. Just arrived at the North Downs Ridge 50K. So yeah, it's a bit of a cold, misty morning, so forecast to be quite wet and muddy. We've got some rain coming later. Um, and I realize my trail shoes at the moment are terrible for like wet, muddy conditions. So I've taken a bit of a risk and I've bought a new pair of running shoes that I'm wearing for the first time today, which I really hope this goes well, but yeah, at least they're gonna be grippy. Um, but yeah, I've gone with some Nike Zagamas, so we'll see how that goes. Just nice to get back on the trails and do a 50K. Uh, today's just all about fun, not racing today at all. So yeah, just gonna go out and enjoy it. Here we go. Just trying to warm up. Oh, go on that hill to start the race. Straight up onto the downs. Two K in, just easing up onto the downs. Oh, just trying to take it easy with this uh, straight as the hills at the beginning of the race. Oh. Oh. At least I'm warming up a bit now. Oh. Oh. Right, made it to the top of that hill. So just up onto the ridge now. So it's a lot more flat now for the next 10k or so. in making good progress oh, I'm glad I went with these shoes for the grip it's starting to get quite a bit muddy but yeah first day wearing them so feet are a little bit sore which yeah it will be interesting to see how that develops over the next four hours Just hit 10k in an hour and four minutes. Oh, pretty good. Happy that. Oh, just been through the first checkpoint at 12k. So yeah, moving well. Oh, enjoying this now. I've warmed up a lot. Oh, 14k in now. Trails are starting to get a bit quieter now. Uh, and I'm probably pushing a little harder than I need to, but just enjoying it. Oh, there we go. Just hit Newlands Corner at 15k. So, yeah, 5k to the turn around, but just lovely views from up here. I can enjoy the downhill on this, but I know I've got to come back this way, so oh, doing this up the other way is going to be hard work. Uh, I don't think I've seen the race leaders yet, so by assuming I'll see them soon. Just getting down my second gel. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Beautiful. Oh, turning into a lovely day. 
although I think rain is forecast later. Oh. Oh. 17k in, just heading out St. Martha's Hill, so not long till the turnaround point. Good job, mate. Lovely, thank you. Oh, right, turn around point done. Oh, on the way back. Oh, right, that's 20k in an hour and 58. So that last 10k was a bit faster than planned. So just going to ease it off a little bit. So it's, uh, I don't want today to be too hard of an effort. Oh, I want to come home feeling good. So yeah. Two hours and 15 in, just trying to ease off the pace a little bit. Don't want to push it too hard. Oh, lovely view from up here. Bit windy out here. Yeah. 24k in. Um, definitely starting to feel a bit of soreness in the legs. So. Yeah, just going to need to manage that a bit, um, but no feeling good, just try not to push it too hard and make sure this is enjoyable, but oh, it's lovely. I thought it was going to be torrential rain by this point, so it seems like the weather's holding up pretty well, which is keeping the ground a lot drier than I expected it to be, which is good. Oh, here we go, on the climb back up to Newlands Corner. Oh. Once we get to the top of here, a lot of the elevation is done. Oh, so that'd be nice. Oh, not a bad view either. Right, halfway, 25k in two hours 34. So yeah, good pace. Maybe a little bit faster than planned, but still moving well. I think I might have pushed it a little bit too hard up that last hill. Uh, energy levels are a bit low right now, but get some food on me and hopefully that will come back quickly. Just ease off the pace a little bit. Right, I've been running for three hours, done 29k, uh, energy levels are a bit low, um, just just had some crisps and uh, a gel from that last aid station, so hopefully that'll perk me up a bit, and just going to ease off the pace a little bit, got a nice long section of like flat and downhill, so yeah, should let me recover a bit, just not going to push the pace now for the next 10k. Uh, Oh, we can actually see the view now. Um, three hours, 12 in. Oh, 
energy levels slowly coming back got through the muddy section as well now but it does feel like it's going to start raining soon but yeah just going to try and take this last 20k easy probably pushed the first half more than I should have but oh, I was enjoying myself it doesn't matter oh. 35k in uh, eased off the pace a lot now so starting to feel my energy levels come back which is good uh, looking forward to the next aid station so I can get some like coke and sugar and crisps so I've got gels but I just don't want to want to save some for the end of the race so just been trying to spread the gels out oh. but yeah oh, today's been a lot harder than expected but it's probably my own fault going out a bit too fast and enjoying it a bit too much at the beginning this mud definitely adds to the effort oh. it's not too bad but definitely makes it harder work than it would be otherwise Oh, you can actually see the view down into Dorking now. Oh, just coming back into Denby's wine estate. So, once I get down to there, I've got another 10k loop to do, and then we're done. Oh, and I'll be happy to finish this one off today. Oh, been a lot harder than I expected. Oh. All right, here we go. Last day station. Oh. Alright, that's the uh, last checkpoint done. Oh, had some coke and that's given me a big boost. Oh, feel much better now. Just 10k to go now. Oh, nice thing about today has just been like the sociable side of things. Chatting to all the runners and stuff. Oh, best thing about doing these ultras. Just getting to meet other people who love doing these things. Oh, that's 40k in 4 hours and 15 so yeah kind of on target for a five and a half hour finish which I'm pretty happy with I would have taken that before I started so yeah a good day oh, definitely feel like I fell behind on calories earlier but that coke at the aid station has really picked me up and starting to move well again starting to feel like myself again so yeah, can enjoy the last 10k. Oh, I think we've got a few little steep hills in this back end section. Oh, this one's steep. Oh. Forty-four k in. Oh, feeling a world better now. So yeah. Just getting to enjoy the last bit of the race oh this has been a lovely race so nice to get back doing ultras being back on the trails oh let's get this done oh i took a big gamble with these shoes but it's definitely paid off i haven't really had any foot pain or anything any problems and uh just had so much more grip than I would if I wore my other trail shoes. Yeah, big gamble having not worn them before, but yeah, paid off. Getting a bit of rain now, but five hours in and uh, only three kilometers left to go. So very nearly there. Oh, yeah, it'll be good to get this done. Oh. Yeah, definitely harder than I expected today, but oh, what a lovely route. I really enjoyed this. Here we go. Final straight. Here 
here we go. Into the finish. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Great, cheers. Oh, finished. Oh, bit of a wet finish, but yeah, finished that in five hours and 20 minutes. So yeah, happy. There were some hard times today, but yeah, finished strong. So, oh, all right. Well, cheers for watching. Bye. Oh.